Yes, please. Yes, I would like to ask you about the slogan, New Voices, New Directions. Does it mean um, this discussions will include youth, American youth and Muslim youth, or it's just a slogan? <laughs> 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 you know, the, we, we know this is a leaders' conference. We try to bring the leaders together from all parts of the world, and we like to define leaders broadly so we're not just bringing political leaders or what we in Washington call policy wonks, but we're bringing religious leaders, we're bringing, we're, we're, we're bringing journalists, we're, we're bringing uh, civil society leaders. Um, and often leaders are a bit on the older side because it takes some wisdom to become a leader. But, but there are also new leaders emerging in the region, uh, new political leaders, new civic leaders. And what you're going to see, I think, during these three days is, is some of those new faces, but also some new voices of, of, of various ages. Like the Wakul. Like, like the Wakul. The Wakul is an example. <laughs> and you'll see um, we have many new representatives of the new political forces in places like Egypt, Tunisia, Libya, and the like. Okay. Um, I, I just wanted to add to that just by saying that uh, I, I think it's a great question and just know that we give a lot of thought um, and a lot of del deliberation in terms of making sure that we are really every year incorporating new voices, whether those be youth, whether those be women, whether they be people from different sectors that we're incorporating, like entrepreneurs or business leaders, um, members of the media, um, and of course this year in particular, you know, the new voices of political change and social change. And really did spend a lot of effort wanting to incorporate voices like Tawakal Karman or um, uh, Rashid Ganoushi uh, or religious leaders like Sheikh Abdullah bin Baya, just because we really like for this to be able to be uh, a very holistic look at, at all of the people that are contributing to this change and really contributing to this kind of conversation. I have to say, too, um, as I said, we've been doing this for nine years. And I think it was four or five years ago, we had a whole focus in this conference on youth. Uh, we had a working group on youth. Um, so I'd like to think that we're not, that, that because we've been coming here to Doha every year for nine years, and thinking in partnership with people in the region about these issues, we've been working on them even before the Arab Awakening. We've been talking about Islam and democracy. We've been talking about political and economic reform. We've been talking about the rising generation of youth in the Arab world. And we've developed relationships with people now who are moving into positions of leadership who we met several years ago. Um, you know, someone like Hossam Bagat, for example, who has been working on human rights in Egypt for years. But now the environment has changed, and his work is so much more important. And his profile is greater because it, the environment is different. So I, I think that we're able to capitalize now on the homework that we did in previous years. Uh, and I'd like to think that, that what we're doing this year, yes, is bringing in new voices, but it's also a continuation of the work that we've been doing for a long time. Thank you.